If you change your export settings every time you finish a video, you're wasting a lot of time. Let's fix that. Hey, I'm Jason, and I help you learn DaVinci Resolve so that you can edit faster, sound better, because I'm an audio guy, and edit and create with confidence using DaVinci Resolve. And today's quick tip is all about creating a custom export preset so that you can export out your video with just one click. Let's jump into it. In DaVinci Resolve, we're in the deliver page, a little rocket ship at the bottom here. And in our render settings, we have a whole bunch of presets we could use, but I recommend that you set up some custom export settings because you're probably gonna get a better result in most cases, especially if you wanna upload to YouTube. So you do have YouTube preset right here, but you don't wanna use those because they're not gonna give you the best quality. Let's go ahead and create our own custom preset. So you're just gonna click custom export. So you don't need a file name to set up the preset and you don't even need a location. You can always set those later. So I'm just gonna delete those out for now. Under render, we want single clip for video. Wanna make sure I have export video. Format, I like to use MP4 and a Kodak of H.265 for YouTube. I'm gonna leave on hardware acceleration as well as network optimization. And when it comes to resolution, I like to have two different presets, one for 1080 and one for 4K. So let's make this the 4K one. So I'm gonna select the drop down resolution, come down to 4K. Now, if it is a vertical format video, no problem, we got you covered here. You can click on this and it's gonna render it in a vertical format. This one's horizontal, so that's okay, but you can save multiple presets, one for vertical, one for horizontal, and then it's as easy as just clicking it once and you're gonna be good to go. Frame rate, I like to match the timeline frame rate. The quality section here, this is important. When it comes to quality, if you're working on a 1080 video or you're exporting in 1080, I would select restrict to and I would make this 40,000, like that. Now, if you're exporting in 4K, like I'm doing right now, I'm gonna change this to 90,000. I like to optimize for speed. Main 10 usually gives me good results. Gonna leave keyframes as it is as well as frame ordering, leave that as it is. Now under your advanced settings, you can use these if you need them. Most of the time I'm gonna leave these all as the default, but let's say maybe you've already created some optimized media or proxy media, you can use that as part of the render to make it go a little bit quicker. Another one you may wanna choose is this one right here, forcing force sizing to highest quality. It's gonna guarantee that you get the best quality. We wanna render all video tracks. Coming down to subtitle settings, if you use subtitles, you may want to export them and include that in your preset so you can check this on. And then you've got the option on how you want to do it, embed, separate file, or burn it directly into the video. If you have multiple subtitle tracks, you'll be able to select it right here. And then you've got YouTube settings here. If you're uploading directly to YouTube, you can use those if you want. Now coming back up to the top here real quick, if we select the audio section, I'm gonna recommend that you make your data rate 320 if you can. And then the other thing you wanna take a look at is the audio normalization. So if you haven't gone through and edited all of your audio the way that you need to, you want to use this, you can turn it on, you can normalize to a standard and you can select your standard here. Maybe you wanna use the YouTube standard and that's gonna get you in a good spot as far as your overall levels for YouTube to make sure you're not exceeding their minus 14 luffs that is allowable for your overall loudness of your video. If that makes no sense to you, I've got videos on all that stuff when it comes to mastering and editing your audio, you can check those out. Once you've got all your settings set up, you can use the ones I recommend or your own, you're gonna wanna come to the three dot menu right here and we wanna come down to save as new preset. You can go ahead and give it a name, whatever you want. I'm gonna say this for computer, we'll just call this 4K output. I'm gonna hit save. And now you can see we've got 4K render right there. Anytime I click on that, it's going to bring up all the settings that I already have. We just have to name it, give it a location, add it to the render queue, render it out, you're done. You don't have to go through and create all those settings and set that up every single time. And that's it. Now you're going to be able to set up your export settings with just one click because we created that preset. Now, I know this is a small setup step here, but it's going to save you a lot of time on every single edit that you work on. So if this tip was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you want to learn more DaVinci Resolve quick tips and how to get things done quicker and more efficiently, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next video that I put out. All right. I will see you in the next video. Peace.